This, of course, is the place for all the best of positive, upbeat, inspirational news around on the internet and in the world in general. So let's kick off first with the rapper who had his gig cancelled in Birmingham and then decided to not let down his fans and stream the world's first pay-per-view concert. Apparently it's the world's first pay-per-view concert. His real name's Safan Robinson. He's 26 years old, he's from Birmingham, he's a grime artist. He was shot just before his concert, which was due this summer. It wasn't a life-threatening injury, so he is okay, thankfully. The, the venue decided to cancel the gig for reasons that are known to them, and he's not happy about it. Um, but what he decided to do was he decided to act entrepreneurially. Uh, I think it was around 600 or so tickets were sold. Instead of letting those fans down, what he decided to do was get in contact with as many as possible, host a concert at a, an undisclosed venue, still have the gig essentially, pretty much have it as a pay-per-view gigs, the people who'd paid to come and see him hadn't actually lost out. Probably the best option really when you consider it. There's not really many other options when your gig gets called off in, I think it was the O2 in, in Birmingham. So when your gig gets called off at a decent venue like that, this shows entrepreneurial spirit, good nature towards your fans. I think this is an absolutely brilliant novel way. Keep fans hooked and keep fans engaged in the live events because live events are where a lot of music artists make their money now. It's about the live venues and selling tickets to go and see the acts live. Yeah, so the, the first pay-per-view concert in the UK essentially is what he's put on. I think that's a pretty novel and interesting way. You've got influencers involved as well to to tweet stuff and to do loads of social media for it when there's a bit of bad news when the gig's cancelled. If you can turn it into a positive spin like this, fantastic. Fair play to yourself, one. I think that's a novel idea. And let's have a listen to a bit of your tunes right now. Watch go bling in the party. Bling. Trump by bring in the army. Yeah. Man smoke green and Barney. Fits one of Marcus, no Garvey. Uh, I re up on Brandon and Charlie. Mate. Might see me your random in Cardiff. It's sap on the hierarchy. Still trapping the mountain in Barclays. Shots on hold, let me let that go. Be so, but I can't let that go. Why do? Next up, we've got a story which is uh, it's quite infuriating actually. Fair play to Davina McCall for standing up for her body image. She's being thin shamed, believe it or not. Thin shaming is a thing. I know that fat shaming has been you know around and out there. Fat shaming is, is you know it's, it's something that's just not not done anymore because of the backlash which happens from, from doing it. Davina McCall, right, she's 50 years old, incredible body, a fitness instructor, brilliant presenter as well. So essentially, she's put up a picture on Instagram showing how proud she is of her body at that age. I would be as well if I was looking as good as her when I'm 50. And she's been getting loads of comments saying that she's setting a bad role model for girls. You just can't win in this day and age. What a ridiculous thing to happen. I think that, you know, if she wants to put out pictures of a fantastically toned midriff, living a healthy lifestyle, because she's been through a lot of trouble in her life. To come through all that and to showcase this beacon of health radiating from, that should be like applauded, surely. I mean, how on earth can you be thin shamed in this day and age? It's ridiculous. Davina McCall has done an incredible thing by speaking out here, having a pop at all these people who've said, it's a non-threatening picture. You know, when you're at 50, it's a pretty massive landmark, isn't it? You know, if you're looking and feeling as good as she is, get thin shamed is a little bit harsh, you ask me. So Davina, carry on doing what you're doing, keep smashing it and keep putting more and more uh, positive body images of yourself up. Damn right, I'm gonna be like Did you see what I done? And lastly, we've got an Australian blogger called Natasha Toffer, who is doing her bit to help um, people involved in domestic violence. So she gets messages on Instagram. Uh, she put out a campaign uh, call out a while ago for people in, who are going through domestic issues and domestic violence. And um, she regularly gets messages um, from people all across the world. But she's basically self-funded a trip to go around America and, um, and meet some of the women that have been contacting her. I mean, what a, like, an, a, an innovative and entrepreneurial and, and thoughtful way to go about trying to help people who are going through really, really tough times. When you're in a relationship where there is abuse like that, it's so difficult to get out of. It's a really vicious circle. She's making the effort to go and fly out there to go and meet these people. So let's have a look at some of Natasha in action. She's 27 years old, she's a blogger from Australia, and she's going out, self-funding her own trips to the US to help people who are getting in contact with her. It's literally get out now or I could possibly die. Sorry. I've been given a gift and my gift is to help women. He would just be there just screaming at me. I might as well just die right now. I've successfully helped women get out of domestic violence situations. Hey, how are you? His favorite thing in the entire world was dragging me by my hair. 
amazing work. So it just it just really does make you feel proud that there are people like that around in this world. This has been Gavin's Good News Vlog. Thank you very much indeed for watching. It's been a pleasure to have your company as always. This of course is the home of positive, upbeat and inspirational stories around in the world and on the internet. Please do like, follow, subscribe. Love to hear from you. Hit us up in the comments below. I'm literally sweating right now. So I'm gonna go and like change the shirt, have a quick shower and have a, a bit of a chill I think today. Stay positive, keep happy. And have a fantastic day. See you again soon. I used to hoodlam my game with the some niggas wanna try some. Did you see what I done?